Welcome to another Honda CB200 video. In previous videos you saw me removing the carburettors off the bike um, and that opened up the whole area of the frame um, which is in quite a bad rusty state which I've, I've cleaned up and I'll show you in a future video. Um, but I also got a chance to see the toolbox and the battery frame. The toolbox was heavily rusted. Here are some photos um, of it in situ. And so what I decided to do was to remove that and to get rid of the rust and to paint it up. Um, the previous one, or the one off the spare bike, is heavily um, pitted and holed, etc. Um, and needs quite a bit of work to get it back um, serviceable again. But this one hopefully um, is in a good condition. But as you saw from the photos, it was heavily rusted. Um, and I chose not to use vinegar for this process, but to use a process called electrolysis. Um, and so I thought I'd just show you the the experiment, the trials I did um, to get to this state here. So here are those videos filmed over about uh, two days um, this process took to get to, to this state. And we'll have a look at this uh, when we've got to the end of those clips. So back in a bit. We use a sacrificial iron object um, and um, a battery charger. I've just got a simple car battery charger, just a basic one. Nothing fancy with it. Um, though it is a bit of a fully automatic kind of one, so we'll see if it kills it. Um, and then into my mixture of warm water, I've put um, um, like the OxyClean kind of powder in there. Um, so what we now need to do is we need to connect um, the negative up to the part and the positive up to the sacrificial item. So in this case, it's an old... Um, pick for sort of bashing concrete and stuff. So I've got the negative up to the part, so the parts in here, so I've got just simple solid core wire um, hanging on to the part, hopefully a good connection on the actual part. Um, uh, so we've got the battery box and its lid to the negative, sacrificial iron object to the positive, making sure that my connection leads are not in the solution. And Apparently, what you should see is bubbles coming off the relevant parts. That's my bird talk. Not particularly into um, bird calls, but it's the uh, kind of thing that um, you know the wife is sort of is expecting me in an hour or so, etc. So she wanted to give me some kind of definite notice of the time I've spent. So it is now um, six o'clock on Wednesday. Um, and I'm going to leave this in for a couple of hours and just see how it's looking after a couple of hours. Okay, just a quick update. Quarter past. Because this is a slightly intelligent charger, because I had it connected straight to this, it wasn't actually uh, putting a, a voltage or a current through. So I've put a battery onto it, an old knackered 12 volt battery. Um, and connected it all up so the positives on the sacrificial piece minus on the part to be de-rusted uh, um, and almost instantly I started having the green corrosion on the connector so I brought it out of the water um, and you can now possibly, if I get you zoomed in seeing all the bubbles starting to form on, on that I think the bubbles previously must have just been like from the oxy Oxy clean thing, um, but there's the part in there. Okay, we're what an hour, an hour in, and So, you can see the, the rust patch here, uh, it's right around the, um, this item here, so I think it's working, or rather not completely bugging up the part. I'm already just a slight scratch. I'm already down to bare metal there. I 
Okay, so let's put it back in. So I can see bubbling from the part, you can see there. So this is the gas is coming off the, the box. Not really getting very much over here from the lid, so I'm wondering if I've got a bad connection there to the lid perhaps. So maybe what I might need to do is actually um, yeah, reattach this this piece, this uh, wire to the, the lid, um, if it's not actually uh, got a good connection to it. So I might look at readjusting that. But I'm going to leave it for another hour or so. So it's now ten past seven. So give you a time check. Cuckoo clock says ten past seven. And oh, just to give you some idea of what the juice we're using. Um, so this is a so this is a twelve volt battery, slightly out of frame, just down here. Um, but hopefully that would be in frame, perhaps. Uh, so coming from the battery. 8.2 volts, that's all, 8.2 volts. So, 5 to 8, so that's another hour's passed. And things are still going really well with this. So I've just gone through, just sort of lifted it up, giving it a gentle, there seems to be like a scum layer that sort of deposits itself on the top of the part but I can already see the rust just lifting off and even just with a toothbrush the rust comes off quite easily um, and in many cases actually you know, a bit of the paintwork comes off as well but I'm sorry, you know, the rust definitely comes off very easy with um, a mild bit of brushing. I also checked the connection with the um, the lid and that's one of the blue one, blue one at the end here um, and that does seem to be working um, all okay and is connected and going there. When I've seen people online doing this, they've had this, um, what do you call it, electrode, I suppose. Um, but they've had like four of these in a tub, one in each corner. Um, apparently there's something like, you know, the closest this is to the actual item, that's where the most rust will be removed. So I moved it over to this um, far corner over here under this new rust patch you can see forming over here um, and maybe that's helping with this um, lid one that's over here if I had any more of these um, picks uh, old picks etc or some big cinching snails etc I'd put one in each corner connect it all up etc um, just to even out the, the process around the whole thing but I think I can probably get away with this one so I am going to have a bit of a hunt and see if I can if I can find something um, that might do the job. So so yeah, it's going well. So yeah, it's it's three minutes to eight, quarter to nine. Made some modifications. So I put um, an additional three electrodes, we'll call them, one over here in each corner connected them all up uh, to my positive the neutrals are exactly the same and um, the battery set up is exactly the same so the charger is charging the battery the battery is powering the reaction um, and I've got a lot more movement in the water now that's an increased sound of bubbles and those kinds of things Seeing some reactions over here. This one is being a bit of a pain, isn't doing too much, very much, but I don't think I've got the connection tight enough. But yeah, so we've got increased flow. The part is looking, if I lift it up. There it is at the moment. Start seeing the sort of bare metal appearing 
rust is nicely falling off. Um, gave it a bit of a brush with a toothbrush um, when, when I was doing all of this, just to remove some of the looser stuff. Um, and yeah, it seems to be going well. So I'm going to leave this going um, until I go to bed and then I'm going to disconnect the battery charger and leave it on this battery. At the moment it's only reading about 7 volts. Doubt you'll be able to see the reading. Just sort of take my word for it. So the battery itself is reading at 7.8 volts. Uh, decent reading on my first electrode. Decent reading on one of the new electrodes. Getting medium on that one. And then this one is my weakest connection. I'm not getting very much of a connection coming through here to this particular electrode. Though the wire's carrying the current, but the electrode isn't doing very much, so I'm about to tweak, tweak this one a little bit. There we go. So that one's now got juice. Oh. That one's now got juice going through it. And that instantly, actually, as soon as that's, this one's actually started getting juice coming into it, the a lot of increased action over in this corner. So that's interesting. So there we go. So if you if you want to do this kind of thing, it's it's simple um, hot water when I started. So all I've got is a tub. Um, hot water. I've used just some of that oxy, not, well, not oxy, I'm using some of this whitening fabric stain remover powder stuff. In this case it's this stuff, this was what Essentials, Waitrose stuff. Um, it's all about having having something in the water to, an electrolyte I think is the word I've heard. I think that's the right word, I don't know. Um, but it allows the water to pass a current through it, which is an important element of this. Um, science, yeah, science. Um, but yeah, so um, easy to do. Electrodes go in, or metal things go in iron. Make sure that the the connection of the wiring, you know, is out of the water. Otherwise, the copper um, oxidizes straight away. Got some nice verdigris. I think it is the green color copper oxide over there. Um, but yeah, it seems to be chugging away. So I'm going to leave this now. Um, go chill out for a bit, um, and then probably when I go to bed, I'll pop out, turn off the battery charger. Or disconnect the battery charger leave this leave this battery um, on uh, it overnight and see what we get in the morning what could possibly go wrong right good morning it is now eight o'clock 8 a.m. Um, on the following day so this has been on the battery overnight and the battery is now down to about 5 volts, it was about 7 volts when we left it, down to 5 volts now um, and has been processing through the night and then it's been on the charger, has been on and active for about 6.30 this morning. Um, what I'm going to do very quickly now is I'm going to take the part out, I'm going to give it a good scrub etc, I'm going to replace the water, I'm going to give the electrodes a bit of a brush, a bit of a scrub to get rid of any cake that's on them to um, hopefully carry on the process which I shall leave running for today as well. So when I get in from work this evening around about 7 o'clock um, can, I can come back and have a, have a quick look at this. So that's just a really quick update. I need to give this a quick scrub before I leave for work. So, right, I've given the part a really good scrub um, and I'm getting really bad at sort of showing progress. So here's a quick... So, so there we are. We're down to quite a lot of base metal in places. Still a bit of crack and dirt in here, but some of it is dirt, and so I've given it a really good scrub uh, to clean it off as well. Um, the underside is looking not so great at the moment, but I think we're getting there. So I think leaving this to um, process over, over today will be really good for it. So all I'm doing is exactly the same. So all I've got is that um, you know fabric oxygen stain remover thing in there. 
Um, I've made some slight modifications to my setup using the clips just so it's a bit easier to attach everything. And then making sure that we go negative to the part, positive to the electrodes. And then cracking on with it. So there we go, we're in. We're processing, bubbles are rising, etc. Refresh liquid, giving it a good clean, etc. And I shall leave it to process um, during today. Alright, I just got in from work, quarter past six. And here we are. Wow, that looks a bit different. Not very much happening in there. Bubble point of view. So does that mean that all the rust is gone? That only affects rust, so I suppose it's time to lift it out and take a look. So I'll put you on the bracket here. Voltage test just to see what we're doing. The charger's not looking that happy, but We'll deal with that. Battery voltage. Two volts. So I think I might have killed the old um, battery. But then there were dead batteries anyway from a service point of view. So let's um, quickly lift this up and give it a gentle brush off and see what we get. So just with a toothbrush. There's sort of a residue on top. There's a smattering of rust still in there, but I reckon that'll come off with a brush. I haven't got a brush small enough to get right down in there. So all in all, I reckon it's done. So this is the toolbox after the process, all dried, all cleaned, scrubbed a bit more, etc. Um, and I think it's done a really good job. Um, all the rust, uh, or the majority of the rust, I should say, has gone. Still got some pitting in areas, and it's also removed quite a bit of the paint as well. Um, and so it really is in a, um, a reasonable state for, for spraying. So I need to sort of rub this down, get rid of some more of this paint. Um, it's got rid of 90% of the rust. I don't know how well you'll see in there, probably not at all. You can still see a little bit of rust in there. So it hasn't really got right inside there and right at the bottom there is still a bit of rust. Some holes have started appearing as the classic for, for this kind of stuff. So I need to, to fix those, either braze them um, or I might even leave them. Um, and there's still bits of rust residue still in there that I need to, to get out. So I could put this back in again and see if I can get maybe an electrode thingy into here, but it mustn't touch this this unit, so maybe an electrode in there um, would help clear out in there. Um, or what I might end up doing is just crusting it with that uh, hammerite crust, anti-rust stuff, before I spray it. Um, I also might remove the clip um, so that I can clean up in there, spray in there nicely, and then replace the clip. Um, but all in all, um, I found this process really good, really useful, really uh, interesting way of getting rid of rust on the surface without using harsh chemicals and without using a lot of vinegar. As you saw, just water and some of that um, uh, oxy um, de-staining solution um, just to make the, the water conductive. Um, but yeah, I think it's done a really good job. So um, when the temperature gets a bit better, at the moment we're at sort of one, two degrees centigrade, um, I will um, give this another rub down, crust it, um, probably take off the clip, and, and then spray it, um, undercoat and top coat, um, and then fully reassemble it. So that will be in a future video. 
So um, there you go. So I hope that you found this uh, informative and useful for electrolysis process. My next job with this is to have a go with the mudguard. Um, I've got another mudguard over here. So here is another mudguard. And on the one on the bike, it's heavily crust, uh, rusted in here. And the classic, you can see on this one, starting to go up in there as well. Um, and the underside as well has started to rust on the one on the bike. So I need to de-rust it um, and then paint it. Um, but I don't know how this electrolysis will affect the chrome. So that's an experiment to do. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you found it useful. Thumbs up. Um, if you like it, comments below and uh, do hit the subscribe button and the notifications and uh, see you again in uh, future videos. Cheers. Bye for now.